Oh, there she is. I forgot my, my headphones. Oh, I oh, so I didn't know so I didn't if it was if it was mom, mom. Oh, don't worry. It happens. Just just putting my headphones because I forgot. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to everybody. That was honestly I'm like it didn't even occur to me until what, 10, 15 minutes? <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, I wonder if it's something to do with my computer here. Yeah, I'm totally a rookie in this uh, Instagram live stuff. So, yeah, I, I totally understand you because both of us were, like, totally lost on it. So, but, oh, well. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, hello, <laughs> hello, Monique. Nice to see you and everyone in the Resident Evil community. This is such such a pleasure for me. Thank you for asking me. Yeah, I'm so happy to have you here, Heidi. How are you? Uh, and happy Mother's Day, because I know you are such a great mother, and you deserve to have your day. It's It's been a great day. It's been a great day. I've been on the phone talking with family and friends, and my son, he's so sweet. He hugs me so much. I had to go fix my makeup. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, that's so yeah. cute. Yes. Oh, this yes. is for you. Oh, this oh. is for you. Oh, thank <laughs> you. You recognize that doll. I've seen them before. Uh, only in the box, though. I had um, one yeah. really nice fan sent it to me and I signed it, but it was in the box. Well, okay, here so it is. I'll send you one as a gift then. You don't have one? No. No, I'll send you one as a gift. Okay, I'd love it. I'd love it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to tell me what the difference is between the two. Uh, this is a pop, a Funko, mm -hmm. a Funko pop, and uh -huh. this one is was made by a friend of mine. Uh, it's made in EVA. It's a. Uh, it's like uh, rubber, I, I guess. The the material. And uh -huh. it's very flexible. Um, she is, uh, she made, it was uh, handmade just for me. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, how sweet. Somebody <laughs> knows you. That is so sweet. Well, you know, I am a, a big uh, Jill Valentine fan. She is my favorite character. So it's a pleasure to talk to to the voice of Jill in Resident Evil 1 Remake, that is my favorite game in the franchise. Oh, yay, yay. I'm so glad. I, I love it. Love it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to translate to people what, what we just said, and then uh, we can start talking, okay? Okay. Bom, gente, eu tava conversando com a, com a Heidi, né, falei pra ela sobre o Dia das Mães, ela é mãe, né, e ela falou que o filho dela abraça ela muito, então ela teve que checar a maquiagem toda hora, né, e aí eu mostrei uhum. as minhas deals uh, pra ela aqui, uh, essa aqui de EVA, né, ela é feita de borracha de EVA, então ela é toda molinha, e o funko, eu falei pra ela que eu vou mandar um funko pra ela de presente, Uh, gente, se vocês quiserem mandar é, perguntinhas para a Heine, tá? fiquem à vontade para mandar as perguntas. Um, so, Heine, um, the first time you got to give interviews about your work in Resident Evil, it took mm -hmm. so long. Why? Why was that? Because we were like... Uh, asking you uh, and trying to find you like forever on the internet, we got like uh, several Heidi Andersons, but never the the, the <laughs> real one. <laughs> What happened? Okay, so it's um, I just I hadn't been online, you know, I hadn't done Instagram, I hadn't done Facebook, I hadn't done I mean nothing, 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 and it's all because of. 20 years ago, I, Resident Evil was one of my last jobs, and I was really having a tough time with acting. I was really suffering personally with um, gripping anxiety, and I, I, just, I just had to stop. And so, um, so I just wanted to close that chapter of my life, and I didn't want to 
venture back into it or, or anything. And, um, but I wrote a project and the project, uh, I wrote a screenplay and the screenplay was put on IMDb. And that's when Artie, um, you know, from uh, Resident um, Evil, uh, the fan club, I, the, the name escapes me right now. Don't hate me, Artie. I'm sorry. <laughs> but he found me on and he was like, hey, are you Heidi Anderson from Resident Evil? And I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, that was a long time ago. Is there something going on? And I had no idea, no idea that Resident Evil was such a big hit. I had no idea that there were these fans out there. I had none, no clue. Because I don't play games and my my son and stepson really are not gamers either. So we just didn't know. Just had no idea. So it wasn't until I got on IMDb that then I was found by RD. So. Uh, we are talking about A Night in Jail in this case, uh, the, the screenplay that you wrote, or another one? Or a, a different screenplay. Yeah, I have two oh, okay. family that are in development. And so it was, it was those. And at the time it really looked like things were going to be moving ahead for them and they haven't. Um, but anyway, so there we, there I was on IMDB and I was really kind of like, Oh, I don't really want to be there. I don't know. It made me anxious, the whole thing. And um, so, but I'm really glad I did because look at this whole world out there. I, I knew nothing about nothing, nothing. And in fact, I hadn't even seen the game until um, I had my first interview and I, and I thought, well, I better know what I'm talking about. So I went on YouTube and I watched uh, some cut scenes, some Jill cut scenes. And that was really fun. That was really fun to discover after all these years. Nossa, gente, a gente tava conversando porque assim, a, a Heidi Anderson, ela não tava em rede social. É, depois que ela fez o, o Resident Evil 1 Remake, ela não tinha, ela não tava na internet nem nada, então eu lembro que eu procurava, aparecia lá, Heidi Anderson, e eu mandava, oi, você é a moça do Resident Evil? A pessoa não me respondia, ou então ela falava, não, e aí eu ficava, ah, tá, eu procurei a Heidi Anderson, e a gente fica procurando, tipo, trocentas Heidi Anderson, até a hora que eu desisti, quem encontrou ela foi o pessoal do Crimson Head Elder, né, que é outro site aí, parceiros, Beijos queridos. E, e ela falou que só encontraram ela quando ela fez uma, um, um roteiro. E aí ela apareceu no IMDB. E aí o pessoal perguntou se era ela. E ela, aham. Uh -huh. E aí, depois disso, ela até foi procurar na internet as coisas. Porque ela ficava, não joga videogame. Nem os filhos dela são gamers. Então, ela ficou sem, sem saber, né? Do trabalho e tudo. E, tipo, gente, 20 anos depois. Então, realmente, que bom que ela apareceu. Ela mesmo falou, olha, que bom. Que bom que agora deu tudo certo, né? para que ela pudesse estar aqui com a gente. We are so happy to have you here, Heidi. There's a lot of questions for you. And you know, and, I, heard said, I heard you say Crimson Held, Crimson Head Elder, and thank you yeah. for saying <laughs> because of, oh yeah 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 Crimson Head with Paul and Artie and um, Aaron and Andrew, just everybody that's been so good to me, including you, Monique. So, and I'm so glad you guys are all such uh, good friends. And so, anyway. Yeah, they are great friends of mine. They are they are wonderful. I love them because I had a few problems with the international community of Resident Evil in the past because I am Brazilian. There was some kind of um I don't know if they they didn't like Brazilian people or people outside the, the US or non uh English speakers. So Now I have great friends in this uh, Resident Evil international community and I'm so happy to have them as my, my buddies and I, I already consider them as part of the Resident Evil family that I, I, I have with the Brazilian community. <laughs> Um, there, let me check the, the questions here. Um, Let me see. Um, Tiago is asking you, how, how did, did you feel to play such an important role into this big franchise that is Resident Evil? Well, you said you, you, 
you found out about your work as Jill just like 20 years after it happened. <laughs> <laughs> so when you found out, oh my God, Jill Valentine, you like Googled <laughs> Jill Valentine. How did you feel about it? Well, just absolutely delighted, just as I feel today, just delighted by this. Um, yeah, I had no idea she was such. I, I had one um, one experience at GameStop, which gave me a clue that it was kind of a big deal. We we um, I had come in with my stepson and my son to GameStop to return a game and, you know, so they could buy another Lego Batman game or NBA 2K or something <laughs> like that. And, um, and I said, Oh, I wonder if my game is here. So I said, do you have resident evil? And she was like, Oh yeah. Where? And I'm like, okay, do you have the, and I, you know, said the remake and she said, yes. And, and I pulled a, the game off the shelf and I said, Oh, look there, there's my name right here. And, and the lady behind the counter was pretty impressed. And so she was like, wait, you're, hold on a second. <laughs> you're, Wait, you know, really? And I said, yeah. And I took out my driver's license to prove I was who I said I was. And so I had an idea. I So that was an indication to me that there was um, a fan base. But I didn't know that there was a whole fan base of the whole Resident Evil series. So I didn't know it was uh, a big deal. I had no clue. Just no clue. So when I went in for the job, I did. I was just going in for an acting job. And I was just going in to do the best that I could. So no clue what I was doing when I was doing it. None. Uh, and when was it, this uh, GameStop event? Let's see. I'm, my son must have been... Well, he didn't start playing any video games until he was seven. So he... It must have been like when he was like nine or 10 or 11, something like that. So, and he's 17 wow. now. Yeah. So, yeah. Was it? So, what a great surprise. I mean, what a, what a gift in my life. It really, it is such a gift to know that um, so many people love the game and so many people respond to the character and... Um, and then when people say that, you know, they, they grew up with my voice, that's such a, that's really just, I love it. It makes me feel so good. Um, and so just super grateful for all the love that from everybody, you know, and, and what a Yeah, surprise. too bad, uh, too bad there were no good phones like today. So I bet the, the girl in the store would say, can you take a photo with me, please? Let's take a selfie. <laughs> I think we did. I mean, I think we did. I should have done it too. You know, I really and truly should have done it as well. But I didn't, I mean, I, I, I just didn't, I should have looked into it then too, is what I should have done. But I was like, oh, that's, that was cool. That was kind of cool, you know, to have that, you know, but I didn't, Google it. I didn't YouTube. Nothing. Nothing. I had no idea that you could watch parts of video games on YouTube. Oh, okay. Gente, ela tava contando que... Yeah. Sorry? I would have to get the game, buy it, and the whole thing, sit down to see it. But it was so... I was like, oh, look. There's the character. <laughs> no, really watch it. No, but, it, but it was really wild. And I go, oh, <laughs> and there's my voice. <laughs> you know, that was, a, that was a big surprise. And how was it to, to listen to your own voice in this game? Like, wow, did I do this? Like, 10 years ago? Really? It wasn't me. <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> 20 years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, um, so, and I remember a lot of it, but a lot of it I forgot. And I had no idea how uh, it would look visually, you know? And so that was really fun for me to see how they um, did the whole mansion and the outside zombies and everything that was uh, fun to discover uh, okay i'm telling the the brazilian people who doesn't speak english what you just said <laughs> okay <laughs> Gente, ela disse que uma vez, é, eu falei pra ela, nossa, tipo, como é, quando você descobriu, né, como é que foi isso, né, que, e ela ficou, não fazia ideia, que uma vez ela foi numa GameStop com o, a, com, o, com o filho do marido dela, 
que eu tô falando inglês e quando mistura com português eu fico totalmente perdida, é, com enteado, tá? Aí, aí ela foi com ele lá na loja pra comprar o jogo, e aí tinha o nome dela, e aí ela falou, ah, então, né? A mulher olhou e falou assim, peraí, você... Ela falou, ah, meu nome aqui, ela falou, peraí, você é a dubladora da Jill? Aí ela falou, é. Aí ela mostrou até a carteira de motorista dela pra provar. E aí, acabou que elas até tiraram fotos e tudo. E ela falou que não fazia ideia. Que ela depois até... Ela falou que nem sabia que você podia entrar na internet, no YouTube e ver partes do jogo. Ela não fazia nem ideia. Ela falou que quando ela foi contratada, ela foi chamada pra fazer um trabalho. Foi um trabalho qualquer. E assim, ela já até... Né, virou a página, né? Então é isso. Segura a emoção, tô segurando, Washington, porque é, é difícil. Falar com a Jill é sempre uma emoção para mim. Talking to Jill is always an emotion to me. So I'm really, I'm really nervous. Oh, no, no. Uh, did you check uh, the work, uh, the last uh, work for Jill from Resident Evil 3? Uh, did you check uh, Nicole Tompkins' work? Uh, we did a live stream with her on like five days ago here on Instagram, and uh, we even talked about uh, re reuniting all Jills uh, no. on a live stream. No. That would be so nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Do we? Do any of us sound the same? I think um, you two uh, have a. Uh, big similarity on the the voice tone uh mm -hmm. probably she had to listen to your voice to do some kind of match because you look like you sound like a, a more uh peaceful jewel uh a, a innocent jewel like mm -hmm. you're very soft and you're very you're very calm you should you should do asmr you know does Those live streams where you talk like that, <laughs> you know? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 I didn't even fall down. <laughs> There are some live streams where people have a, a nice voice, and yeah. then they speak very, very low to. Yeah make people relax it's called uh asmr oh wow oh that sounds great you should do it because your voice is like very calm and then very relaxing and then you're like you're a jill i'm jill valentine i'll take you to a mental trip where you can feel relaxed Inside the Spencer Mansion. <laughs> you can put away all your fears of zombies. They won't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. Let's do a, a therapy session with Jill Valentine, please. Make us relax. <laughs> so, did Nicole do other games before this one? Um, she did... Um, She did Shadow of, Shadow of War. It's based on Lord of the Rings. Okay. And uh, she's working on other projects that she said she cannot talk about it yet. Oh, oh, okay. Very secretive. Jeez. Yeah, but maybe we should reunite all the, the Jill Valentines together. That would be nice. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but what about the original, original Jill Valentine? Yeah, we don't know where she is. We don't know if she, she, she's still alive, to be fair. Okay, okay. P people are, are trying to, to find her, but it's like 24 years and she's never appeared publicly, publicly, publicly. I'm sorry, my, my English is horrible. No, no. Um, okay, but yeah, I would, I would love that. That'd be fun. Yeah, I'll Except, try to... Sorry? Oh, I was just going to say, I haven't um, followed the other games in the series, so it would be... I guess I would have to get a little up to speed. <laughs> too. 
<laughs> no problem. I, I I bet the the guys from Crimson Head Elder uh, could help me with that. Then we can get you up to date with Resident Evil, and then we can have a a, a live stream with you and uh, Nicole. Maybe we can try to find Patricia, who makes Jill in RE5. Okay. Yeah. And then we can make a, a, a reunion. Reunion. Oh, reunion. Yes, I love it. <laughs> it's gonna be great uh, ok uh, I'm gonna ask people to send questions gente, mandem perguntas pra, pra Hayley, pode mandar em português que eu traduzo e mando pra ela tá, é, e a gente tava conversando sobre a voz dela ser uma Jill mais calma eu falei que ela devia fazer SMR e eu fui rir e a minha faixinha caiu gente, então enquanto eu coloco a minha faixinha de volta vocês por favor não vai entrar tudo bem, eu tô pagando mico aqui na frente da Hayri e ela é super tranquila, ainda bem, né? Que ela não tá rindo da minha cara. Uh, people are asking me if Jill represents a lot uh, on my life. And she does. Jill is like my model in life. She is like um, when everything is hard, I ran I run to Jill to make things uh, more peaceful inside. Does it oh, make any so sense? And you play Jill and you, you feel peace by playing the game again or identifying with her meeting challenges? What, I mean, what part of it? Does yeah, it's, it's like, what would Jill do in the situation? You know? Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, and she was I mean, she's way, 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 way braver than I ever. <laughs> yeah. So that's all acting uh, on my part because I am not nearly as brave in life as she is. But um, I can see why why you would feel like that because she really she meets these challenges and these horrifying situations with such um, you know she doesn't shrink back she doesn't you know, look for somebody else to help her. She just handles it herself. And I think that's really admirable for, for anyone. And so I'm glad that you found that with her. Uh, alguém no chat perguntou se a Jill representa muito para mim. E eu falei que sim, que eu me identifico muito com a Jill. E aí é, ela perguntou, ah, você se identifica com ela? E eu falei que sim, que é, quando eu tô numa situação difícil, eu me pergunto o que, que a Jill faria. E aí eu acabo me identificando com ela. E foi o que a Hayri falou. A Jill ela já passou por muitas situações é, difíceis, né? Situações que são inimagináveis, assim. Então ela é muito mais corajosa do que... Qualquer uma de nós seria. Um, let me see. There's a question here. Uh, someone asked. Uh, Washington ask, is asking you if you ever if you've ever been in Brazil. No, I have not. Would you like to come? Yes, but when will the world be such that everyone is traveling again? Yeah. It, I mean, what is it like for you? What is it like in Brazil? Uh, it, it's been. It's been hard because there are like many people dying here because of our president who takes the who doesn't take the the situation seriously. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are all stuck at home by our ourselves because there is no lockdown uh, declaration or something like that. Um, and well, politicians. They don't care about the people. Let's let's be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a very sad situation because um, we have to take care of ourselves. We put someone in there, in the presidency, and they don't care about us. They are not caring about all the people dying. And uh, it doesn't matter if they are from the, the right or the, the, the left wing of politicians they don't care they only care about themselves and the the re-election and stuff like that so um it's been hard but um what about you how is how are things going where you live 
it's um, they're just now starting to ease restrictions a little bit. Um, I think that they'll open up some beaches in my neighborhood tomorrow, actually, so that people can walk along the strand and on the beach, which to me has always seemed common sense because if people are outside exercising, that's healthy. And if people can stay, you know, six feet apart, that to me seems reasonable, but when they closed the beach, they left some other walkways open, and so there's more people on those walkways. <laughs> so it's sort of defeating the purpose of closing the beach because now we're all closer together in the other walkways or walking on the streets with cars, and that doesn't make any sense either. So I think it'll be better once the beach opens up and people can walk on the beach and exercise on the beach. You know, I think they can't play volleyball and and that sort of thing. But as long as they're, they're not sunbathing, I, I think it's okay. So they're starting to open it up, but we've been, we've been pretty much at home for two months, you know, and um, it's going to be, we're just waiting to see what the world is going to be like. Will people be able to travel? Would I be able to go to Brazil? You know, my, my sister-in-law is getting married in October and we're thinking, uh, is it going to be safe to travel? to the other side of the country. Mm, and, mm -hmm. I mean, we just don't know. We just don't know what the world is going to be. And then my son plays basketball. Can they play? That's a real contact sport, you know. So will he be able to do that even, even practice? Because how do you guarantee that everyone is free of the virus when they're playing? And then what if you play another team? And then you're traveling to another, you know, on a bus all together to go to another game. So it's it's going to be a whole. <sighs> yeah, it's like we are laughing, but we are nervous right now. And uh, kind of uh, the, the purpose of those live streams I've making, I've been making here on Instagram and on YouTube is kind of to make people. Uh, think about something else not just all those bad news all those people dying and talking about the the politicians and by the way most uh, like over 10 people got out of the live stream when i said the president doesn't care about the people and i'm not well, lying subject. we'll go back to resident evil because i'm the one that's <laughs> Yeah, actually, I, I don't care because I don't care about any sides of the, the, the politics. Uh, I, I don't care about who is in the left, who is in the right. Yeah. They all suck, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. Okay. Um, gente. Okay. All right. Bom, a gente estava conversando, né, gente, aqui sobre... Eu falei para ela dela vir para o Brasil, Washington perguntou quando, se ela gostaria de vir ao Brasil. Ela falou que nunca veio, mas ela falou, poxa, eu queria tanto ir, mas quando que agora a gente vai poder viajar? E aí ela falou que ah, é uma, uma, um parente dela vai casar e, tipo, é, é seguro ir para um casamento em outubro do outro lado do país? É seguro para o filho dela jogar basquete, que é um jogo que tem proximidade? Um, ela estava falando do quanto é, onde ela mora, eles abriram as praias, porque eles tinham trancado e o pessoal ficava andando calçadão, não resolve nada. Então, ela falou que agora parece que está começando, é, a cunhada dela, exatamente, Info, desculpa que eu conversei tanta coisa que eu até esqueci. Mas é isso, né, gente? Então, vamos voltar para a Dil, porque eu comecei a falar de político e assim, eu não tenho rabo preso com ninguém, nem com um lado, nem com o outro, e eu quero que eles todos se danem, porque é o povo que está sofrendo, né? E quando você está aí defendendo político, eles estão lá comendo lagosta e a gente se lascando aqui, né? Mas, ok, let's go back to Jill then. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go back to Jill. Uh, let me see if we have more questions here from the the Jill lovers, the Valentiners. How would you say the the Jill lovers or Valentiners? What is the best? I haven't heard these term. before. Is that a new is that a new term or is that yeah. an old one? Yeah, I, I, I just made them up. <laughs> yeah. it has a it has a ring to it i like it do, do you like valentiner or uh jewel lovers what do you prefer valentiners 
Yes, I do. I like the Valentiners. That one's fun. And I also like that um, on Valentine's Day, people, you know, do the Jill Valentine thing, which is really sweet. So it kind of falls into that whole category. So. And uh, by the way, did you get uh, did you get any messages uh, on uh, Valentine's Day because of Jill? Yes, yes. I mean, I think. <laughs> oh. I mean, I think it was a Resident Evil thing, but they definitely sent out you know the Jill thing and tagged me on it, and that was. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Always feels like that. So yay, yay! I love that. It's always so fun to hear from the Resident Evil community, I have to say. It just, it's delightful. Yeah, and I, I got a few, uh, I got a few uh, messages from Mother's Day. I, I don't have any, any, any babies or any son or daughter, but they say I am the mother of stars. <laughs> so. Yes, I can totally see that. You're like you're like holding everybody together. You're so sweet and warm, and um, you know you have such a nice presence in your posts and in your videos, everything. So yeah, I can I can see that. Oh, stuff. thank you. Do you like Game of Thrones? Uh, there is the Mother of Dragons there, and I'm not uh -huh. the Mother of Zombies. I am the Mother of Stars. By the yes. way. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, let me see if we have any, any questions here. Um, people are asking you, where are you from, um, Heidi? Where do you live? I live in Los Angeles currently. And uh, before that, I, I grew up in New York. No, excuse me, I grew up in Seattle. And then I lived in New York for four years. And it was while I was in New York that I started doing voiceovers. I had um, gone... I had just gotten a new agent and she said, okay, you've got a voiceover audition today. And I said, um, I don't do voiceover. And she said, well, you do now. And so, <laughs> so I went to the audition and I got it actually, as, as it turns out. And so that was pretty cool. And it was for radio spot. And um, I thought, okay, well maybe I should take this a little more seriously. And so I took some classes in voiceover and, And so it was great. That sort of been was something that I just kind of did here and there in New York and then in, in L.A. when I moved here. So, and, um, uh, were you in New York when you did uh, Resident Evil or no, you were already in Los Angeles? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And I did, um, what was the, I did another game. It was... Um, Uh, the Xena Warrior Princess. I was her sidekick in um, in that, so that was really fun. And it was after that that uh, Resident Evil came along. Oh, really nice. Uh, gente, ela tava contando que ela mora em Los Angeles, mas antes ela morou em Seattle, aí depois ela foi para Nova York, a foi em Nova York, ela começou a fazer, né, dublagem, que perguntaram para ela, ah, você faz dublagem? Ela falou que não. Bom, agora você faz, né? E aí ela começou a fazer, fez aula e tudo, e ela trabalhou no jogo da Xena, ela fez a... A, a menina que fica sem lado da Xena, que eu não sei o nome agora, tá? Mas, enfim. Um, there's a question from Eduardo. Uh, he, first, he's saying congratulations for the Mother's Day to you. Thank you. And um, when I finished uh, the... Uh, quando se encerrou aquela outra entrevista, qual foi a primeira coisa que veio à cabeça dela? Uh, when you finished your first interview, uh, what was the first thing that you thought about? Oh gosh, I'm giving an interview about my work as Jill. How was it for you? Yeah. Well, first of all, it's the biggest compliment ever that anybody thinks of me at all. That first of all, it's just a joy for me, you know, um, so I'm, I, I love it, I, I loved it, and I still love it, and I just can't believe it, you know, I still can't believe it to this day that people are like, you're Jill Valentine, you mean from that, case? it's like, yes, yeah, and so that's a real, I mean, I love it, just love it, I mean, surprised, but really joyful at the same time. 
Bom, ela disse que para ela foi uma surpresa. Ela falou, nossa, tipo, foi uma surpresa para ela, mas que ela adorou aqui todo mundo, né, elogiando e tudo mais. Então, e lembrando, né, gente, ela só descobriu da coisa, tipo, sei lá, 20 anos depois, né? Então, mas tudo bem, né? And uh, you said you don't do voiceover anymore, right? Yeah, I haven't. Now you do again. <laughs> Just like you, your ex boss said. <laughs> <laughs> well, except this is on camera. Technically, this is on camera because you can see me and hear my voice. So that's on camera. But, um, you know, if ever I were to do, it's so time consuming to get the whole business together. And right now, I've, you know, I've been working on other things. So there's just not a minute in the day. But who knows? Maybe I'll do voiceovers again. You know, once my son is way at college and uh, maybe this project I'm working on is a little bit more settled then I can devote some time to it again because I love it I love being artistic I love um, I love bringing things to life um, whether it be you know writing something um, and bringing it to life or bringing the words uh, somebody else wrote to life you know by acting in it so it's it's all it's fun either way so maybe okay. I will Yeah, you and will I, right now. And I and you know what? I did voiceovers too since then with these interviews because people have asked me to read things and so and I read for you. And so yes, yeah, so I have yeah. done. Exactly. You read uh for Resident Evil Database, the mm -hmm. the file from Jill at Revelations 2. Uh because yeah. we don't know, we don't have any news from Jill since yeah. RE5. Okay. And there is only a file from her at Revelations 2. It's a spin-off and we still don't have any news from her uh -huh. until now. Until and now. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope she she gets back in RE8. Would you accept to do Jill in RE8 if they invited you? Well, of course. Well, of oh. course. But It sounds like this Nicole is the one they're um, they're working with now. Yes, so probably, you know. Yeah, maybe some flashback from the mansion. Maybe they want to match the the voice from the ma the, the, the mansion incident, uh, and then put uh, Nicole as the 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 um, the current Joe Valentine. But maybe you could be a flashback. Maybe. Interesting. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, speaking of the call, um, have you checked um, some kind of a, um, a voice or oh, phrases, see, uh, sentences? I'm sorry, my English is horrible. Any sentences from uh, Resident Evil 3, by the way? No. No, not at all. Is there something I should look out for? I mean, this is a really good thing about these talks is that people tell me stuff I, I need to know. Like, I didn't understand the significance of a Jill sandwich until it was explained to me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't get it. You know, when people say, what's your favorite sandwich? Then I was like, oh, thank you for <laughs> explaining that. Now I understand, you know. And so they, they can tell me other things. So what should I be looking out for in, uh, with the one you just talked about, the phrasing? Okay, I'm, I want to request a sentence from Ari3 to you uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you do it? Um, uh, do, are you familiar with the you want stars? I'll give you stars. Oh, no. Oh, so that's a famous one? You want yeah. stars? Yeah. I'll give you stars. Yeah, stars? it's like... She's really pissed with Nemesis, her Nemesis. Oh, okay. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you want stars? I'll give you stars. Amazing, amazing. You know, we said, we asked Nicole to say that in Portuguese. So it's easy to say in English. <laughs> And so did she get really... Was she really yeah, yes. yeah, she got really... You want to try? You want to try in Portuguese? Oh, geez. Okay, well, say it for me. Você quer stars? Você quer stars? 
Eu te dou stars. Eu não te dou stars. Ah, Isso é amazing! <risos> <laughs> yeah, it's almost easier not knowing what I'm saying because I can, you know, imitate you. Yeah, it's not that hard. I can teach you some Portuguese and then you can maybe uh, say uh, a file from Jill in Portuguese someday. <laughs> probably, probably, yeah, not, not go so well, but <laughs> I like the idea. Uh, but um, uh, do you speak any other on any other language um, um, except for the, the 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 English, your native language? Do you speak any other language? No, no. Most Americans. I'm sorry. I I, I learned a little French, but that was it. So no, it, it's terrible. It's terrible here in the U.S. Most of us just walk around speaking English. How many languages do you speak? Um, I speak Portuguese, I speak uh, English, bad English, by the way. <laughs> by the way, good English. Um, I learned some German, but I like, I was like, I studied for like four years and then I dropped for some reason. Um, some Italian for one year, kind of, mm -hmm. and now I'm learning Japanese. Oh my goodness. Well, if you love Capcom, then why not learn Japanese, right? Yeah, I wish I worked at Capcom. I, I wish they noticed me to, to hire me sometime in this life. So uh, that's why I'm learning Japanese. I have to admit it. <laughs> that's great. Now, how do you put yourself on Capcom's radar? Oh, there is the Capcom in Brazil, so they have my uh, my resume. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but it's like okay, when we have some, when we need you, if we have any position, of course we'll call you. And it's been like four years already; <laughs> nothing <laughs> happened. But are they? Do they? They must follow you. <laughs> Yes, they do. Yes, uh, we talk about it a lot. I think I will remember then. Hey, I'm studying Japanese, by the way. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> I mean, because you could work for Capcom. I mean, you're such a devotee. What's the, how do you say that? Uh, uh, when we are such a, a big fan or something. Yeah. Devotee. Um. Uh, entusiasta is like an enthusiast yeah. or well people call me crazy people call me loca do resident evil the resident evil crazy the 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 cat the crazy resident evil lady you know the crazy cat lady uh -huh. <laughs> you're the crazy lady so was it your first game that you ever played no, I, I've been playing video games since the Atari. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> how, so when, how old were you when you started playing video games? Uh, I was three, I guess. I started playing video games when I was three years old. And Resident Evil when I was 11. And now you are interviewing me and that's amazing because no one's ever been interested in me. <laughs> so thank you so much, Heidi. <laughs> So, okay, so that was when you started playing the game. Yeah. When, okay. Oh, that's great. When you were 11. And so had you ever, so there wasn't any other female video game characters at that time. Am I right? Or at least ones that were in charge of their own destiny. Am I right? Yeah, I used to like Sonya Blade from Mortal Kombat and Chun-Li mm -hmm. from uh, Street Fighter. But then Jill came up, and I'm sorry, girls. Jill is my girl. <laughs> Jill is my girl now. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. Let me situate. Uh, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, one of the things that surprised me was hearing that guys like to play Jill Valentine. I was yeah, really they do. Yeah. 
Uh, gente, a gente estava conversando, a gente começou a devagar aqui. A gente perguntou se eu perguntei, né, se ela fala outros idiomas. Ela falou que não. Aí ela me perguntou se eu falo. Daí eu falei um pouco da minha vida. Aí ela perguntou quantos anos eu comecei a jogar videogame. Daí eu falei. Ela perguntou se eu trabalharia na Capcom e tudo mais. Então a gente ficou conversando aqui. Vocês me desculpem. Ela foi a única dubladora interessada em saber de mim, gente. Eu precisava conversar um pouco, sabe? Então, melhor pessoa, né, gente? Melhor pessoa. <risos> Let me see if we have any more questions. Gente, mandem perguntinhas para a Heidi. Vamos pegar mais du umas duas perguntinhas e aí depois a gente já, já finaliza aqui, tá? Um, Heidi, uh, people are sending the preparing for two questions, two more questions for you. Uh, but before that, I'm asking all the VOs. Uh -huh. To give a message to the, the people to stay home. It's like, stay home. Like Jill asking people to stay home. Just stay home. You tell me when you're ready. Should I do it like three different ways? Of Just course. Just, well, well, say as Jill, give, give your message to the people. This is a disease, everyone. It's like T virus. <laughs> yeah, but am I like... Am I upset because, you know, like somebody got the shot and I need to get, you know, and so is it please stay home, you know, like that? Or is it like you viral something freak, you know, but I don't, I don't want to be harsh with people, you know, but um, let's, let's see. Yeah, you can say the, it's like a sweet chill, sweet chill. Sweet chill. Mm -hmm. um, Stay home, protect yourself, be with the stars. That's not good. Yeah. Let's see. Um, <laughs> no, it was good. <laughs> every, um, we'll do um, stay home, protect yourself. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> um, and then we'll, let's see if there's one. Uh, Wesker, stay home. Protect yourself. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Can you say that in Portuguese now? <laughs> no, 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 just to stay home in Portuguese, I can teach you. Okay, it's fica em casa. Fica em casa. Yes. Fica em casa. Fica em casa. Yay! <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're such a sweet Jill. You know, it made me feel of that that song, Sweet Dreams. There is sweet Jill. Sweet Jills are made of things. I'm sorry. It's okay, but you know what? That that's the big note I got when I was working, which is no, no. She's tougher than this. She's tougher than this. So yes. um, they really toughened me up because I was much too nice. <laughs> but we we need to have a sweet chill I, I like the first chill because she's very naive and she's like what's going on and then she finds out about Barry being the traitor being a, a traitor and then she's like don't lie to me and then she it's so cute yeah no and so is that different from the Jill's after after me yeah Jill from RE3 She's much more. We say that that in Portuguese, she is pistola. She is pissed with the situation. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because she's being suspended from the stars. Um, she is. Um, she's in home. Um, how do we say home arrest? It's home arrest. Oh, house arrest. Yeah, and uh, um, she 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 wants to leave the city, and mm -hmm. she has to run away from the nemesis, who wants mm -hmm. to okay. kill her. So uh, she oh. is pissed, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
And so when she says stay home, she's like, stay home. Yeah. Fick in casa. Fick in casa. Yeah. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> Now that feels Italian to me. Fick in casa. Fick in casa. <laughs> that would be Italian. <laughs> Italian. So what's the what's the Portuguese hand, hand movement for that? Uh, fica <laughs> It's like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It's like Not stop cute. being so stubborn. Palaga te teimoso. Okay. <laughs> um people are getting uh getting to ask uh, i think people are just uh, popping in into the live stream and they are asking asking you about the the current uh, re3 remake if you are aware if you've seen uh, anything about it we have not so you have to ask them what what do they think what do you, what does the community say about it well it's kind of mixed because they They forgot, well, they didn't forget. They didn't uh, add a few things from the, they removed things from the original game and people got really really sad about it. Like the clock tower that's a very important part uh mm -hmm. of uh of RE3 and they removed it from the game. Oh, oh interesting. Okay. And so uh, not to Yeah, not to mention that Carlos Oliveira, who is uh, Chris, uh, Jules' partner, I'm, so, oh, cra I'm crazy, I'm talking about Chris, oh, Jesus Christ, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, mm -hmm. um, uh, they, they gave a lot of uh, space for Carlos, and he kind of stole the scene from Jules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and people are like, we want to see Jules, right? Yeah, but we love Carlos now, and that's a problem because we are, we want to see more of Carlos now, and that was oh. Jill's game. Oh, oh, interesting, interesting. And so, who uh, this? I, I know it's a little ignorant here, but who voices Carlos? Uh, do you know Jeff Shine? Mm -mm. He's doing uh, Captain America in uh, Marvel's Avengers now, the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the original game, there is Vince Carreza. Okay. Uh, do you know him? Mm -mm. Um, he's a nice guy. He did the, the original Carlos, and now we have uh, Jeff Shine. And, uh, mm -hmm. oh, okay, last question. Uh, that's a re really good one. Yeah. We ship, we, we ship together, we, uh, the fans went to see Jill and Chris together, and uh -huh. we call it Valenfield. <laughs> Valenfield? Okay, explain it, explain that one. It, it's Valentine plus Redfield, Valenfield. Oh, okay, Valenfield. Okay, yes, that sounds good. That's very fun, Valenfield. Uh, what do you think of Jill and Chris together? Do you approve it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, they were meant to be together, right? Yes, I'm with you. I think, and we want Jill to be happy, right? Of course. But when they, they hired you, did they say anything about the, the relationship between uh, Jill and Chris, like being something more than just friendship? No. No. If they did, I don't. I don't remember. I, there was no talk about that. I, I barely even saw a picture of what the character looked like. So no, I was completely in the dark about everything. And I think Joe White told me that when he came on the game, a lot of the animation had already been done. So he got to see a lot of what was going on. Everything that uh, the Jill Valentine character went through when I was working, it was all in my head. They would have to describe it for me and I would just act it out. And I just imagined it all there. So yeah. Yeah, okay. very different experiences. Okay, so they have your blessing. Jill and Chris have your blessing.
to be together. Of course. I love it. We want her to be uh, happy. Yeah, we all want them to be happy. Viu, gente? Até a Heidi aprova Valenfield, tá? Então, quem não aprova, tá errado. <laughs> Heidi, I want to thank you so much for being here with us. It was so much fun. It was great. It was great to talk to you because we haven't spoken live ever before. And so this is a real gift. And would it have happened without coronavirus? I don't know, but it's wonderful that we did this, and, um, and I love the Resident Evil community. Thank you. Thank you all for all your love over the years. I just, I'm so grateful for it. It makes me so, so happy, and um, it, it's great to see you. And sorry for the kerfuffle at the beginning. I'm like, why aren't I getting on? <laughs> why <Well, I> don't <laughs> see the Oh, no, oh, no. And so I'm glad it finally occurred to me to just try the phone, so... Oh, don't worry about it. And let's try to reunite all Jills, like uh, you, Nicole. We can try to find Patricia. We can uh, get to talk to Michelle Ruff. She's from the Revelations. And then we maybe we could do a, a big Jill reunion. That would be amazing. I'd love it. Oh, my gosh. And uh, I'm sorry for making you speak in Portuguese, and I'm sorry for my stupid jokes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I really enjoyed this so much, Monique. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Beijos. We say that in Portuguese. Beijos. Beijos. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Everybody.